Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slate here. Back with another unboxing, and today uh, we're dipping back into the well of Adidas. Adidas Originals to be exact. So Adidas is doing a little bit of, I'm gonna say almost like a throwback. They're dipping back in history a little bit, and this shoe represents a lot of that and some of their major collaborations that they've been doing in the recent few years. So without further ado, let's check into it. Uh, the new shoe from Pharrell. B roll, B roll, B roll, B roll. This shoe right here, sent to me by the good folks over at Adidas. It is a sample pair, but it is a pair that everyone is going to be able to get. However, it is a bit limited, which is what I feel like they probably should have been doing with this style of shoe all along. And while I say style of shoe, let's jump right into it. As you know, when you see this box, it is an Adidas Originals and Pharrell collaboration. The Adidas Hue in MDPW for Pharrell Williams, one of my favorite producers of all time. But let's check it out and here we go. Still a very beautiful shoe. I've seen a number of these. I have probably 10 to 15 pairs of these, but I'm always, always excited about the shoe just because it is an absolutely beautiful shoe. Again, this is a look-see sample. Uh, I talked about that in my last video, so most of you guys already know what a look-see sample is. Um, but for those that don't, it's a sample that the designer has sent out that's basically almost like the final version of the sneakers. Now, this one is, uh, I'll read the tag to give you all of the information. Look-see sample, uh, ba basically textile, human human zo statement is the name of it it's glory gray and dash green they're officially calling it dash green but you only can get this in the confirmed app it's not actually going to be available anywhere else um, i like what they did with this pair they actually switched up the upper usually you just have the regular prime knit on the upper hold on um i have a pair right over here i want to see if i ha i know i have a different pairs here i'll grab this pair over here so I have this pair. So usually you can see here the difference in how they're using the prime knit. So usually the prime knit is packed together a little tighter. And it's, it's more like a, like a textile, almost like a knit uh, is how they usually do it. But in this time, they're using prime knit as more like, I'm gonna say like a mesh. So it's more like a mesh version of it this time. So you see you have like the mesh material on the upper versus like the knitted material that you usually see on the Hue and MD. They still have the same letters here. And for what I understand, um, and please correct me if I'm wrong, this says human race this time. Um, I could be wrong about that. If I am, please correct me. So for those out there that can read that, I'm not sure if that is Korean or Japanese or Chinese. I don't know the difference to be totally honest with you guys. Uh, but if you know what it is, please translate and let me know what it says there down in the comments and I'll pin your comment. So the first person to get that answer right, I'll pin your comment down below. But I believe it says human race. Actually, I'll confirm that right now. Hold on, be right back. So it says, uh, Pharrell Williams Hue NMD Dash Green. We're excited you to be among the first to wear Pharrell's exclusive Hue NMD collection. The new for, newest Pharrell NMD features an ultra breathable mesh upper and silver embroidery detailing spelling out human race in Korean. So it is human race in Korean. It's an exclusive colorway. Uh, it's been gifted to only people in New York, LA, Paris, and London. So again, thank you for the gift, Adidas. I definitely appreciate it. Now, something that Adidas has been doing with the Hue NMD, at least for the last couple of models, is they're going away from the trail version of the NMD. And this is the trail version of the Hue NMD. And you can see there how thick that outsole is. These nodules or mode, no, nodes are massive. But on this pair, it's really flat and thin. And what that does is it makes the shoe a little bit light. Actually, it makes it, actually makes it a lot lighter than this version because the rubber is really heavy. Uh, obviously on this version, they left the boost white, but here they actually dyed the boost, uh, I'm gonna say an off-white, almost like a, a faint color of green uh, or the same dash green. Maybe it's like a light 
green, maybe you could call it, or an off-white. I actually like the way it looks because it works really well with the upper of the shoe, and it almost like puts the Hue NMD into like a different space, so it's not so bright at the bottom. Like this feels cool, it feels calming. It's not something that's super bright and wants people attention, although the color is bright enough to kind of warrant a little bit of attention. It's almost like a jade, obviously they call it dash, dash green, let me confirm that, yes, dash green, but I kind, it kind of feels almost like a jade that like pops a little bit, but it's subtle enough where it's not trying to take away the attention. It is definitely a different look for the Hue NMD, so if you don't like this mesh sort of netting, then it does change the feel and the vibe of the shoe a little bit. It doesn't feel as smooth. This feels a little more DIY, if that makes any sense, versus the other pair where it seems a little bit more like manufactured. This feels a little more personal, um, which is which is interesting because the purpose of him doing these as human race makes it less about the individual and more about the collective. If you know Pharrell, he's all about mind, body, and soul and improving the individual, um, but he's also about improving the human race. And that's where this pair comes in. It's switching from being the individual, being who you are, to using who you are to improve everyone around you and the human race to make the human race better as a collective, which is commendable. I always appreciate the work that Pharrell does and how he looks to his sneakers as not only, hey, I have a collaboration, I have this cool sneaker, but as something to extend his message of unity across the world, whether that's music or fashion. Um, if you know Pharrell, you know the sort of stuff that he's done in the fashion world and how he's, he's into the hype, he's into the street world world, and he brought a lot of that sort of flavor here to America through his music and through the things that he does, and now he's bringing that to the sneakers here in 2020, which I think is pretty cool and a pretty big deal. Uh, now, these are going to be two $220. Again, they're only on Adidas Confirmed. That's the only way you can get these. There's actually another pair as well that's definitely a lot more subtle. It's almost like an off-white pair on the upper, but I really like the way that it looks. That off-white color really looks great on these, and it really kind of takes it to a different place as opposed to the bright colors that we're used to seeing on these, the collabs we've seen with BBC and all those sorts of things. But this one, again, all about the human race, making everyone around better because that is very commendable, and that is what we all should be doing trying to make the world a better place for everyone. So, I want to give a big shout out to the folks at Adidas Originals. Thank you for sending over this sample pair. Again, I appreciate it. Uh, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. But again, it's only if you like what you see. Don't subscribe if you don't like it and you don't want to watch the channel. I appreciate it, but yeah, I'd rather you find something that you really appreciate and uh, subscribe there. All right, I'm Jacques Slade. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.